The most important history lesson I know is the lesson of Darwin's nose. In 1831, Robert Fitzroy is the captain of a Royal Navy ship called the Beagle. And they're about to do a big survey mission off the coast of South America, and he wants to hire on a science officer to be his Mr. Spock to his Captain Kirk. And he, Ill, he, he interviews a, a promising young candidate named Charles Darwin, a young naturalist. And they get along pretty well. It seems like Darwin is going to be able to do the job. And at the end of the interview, there is one thing standing between Charles Darwin and a journey on the Beagle. And what is that one thing? It is his nose. Fitzroy doesn't like Darwin's nose. Years later, Darwin wrote, he doubted whether someone with a nose like mine possessed sufficient energy and determination for the voyage. So Fitzroy gets over his doubts eventually. I mean, we know how this story comes out. Darwin goes on the Beagle. Uh, from this comes the uh, uh, natural selection, of the, the theory of evolution, origin of the species. It all happens. Darwin said later, he said, uh, he said, Fitzroy came to believe, I think, that my nose had spoken falsely. <laughs> so what is the lesson of Darwin's nose? The lesson of Darwin's nose is that everything that ever happened almost didn't. Charles Darwin almost didn't get on the beagle because of his nose. I want you, to, when you think about history, not to think of it as the past. I want you to think that history is made in the present under deadline, under pressure, in the heat of the moment, sometimes in anger, sometimes by accident. And sometimes those tiny factors can change history completely. And that's the lesson of Darwin's nose. And as we go through stories of invention and discovery today, I want you to remember that and keep it in mind.